All right, team. So, Supporter Creator is finally live for my YouTube channel and for my behalf. So, for those of you that do play any epic games, especially Fortnite, as you can be seeing here, uh, just go ahead and hit up the item shop. Go ahead and check out on the bottom right. You'll see Supporter Creator. Just make sure you click on that. And then once you have clicked on that, just go ahead and type in for the Winatachi in all caps. Click accept and you'll notice uh, where it says creator supported, my name will be there. Uh, I couldn't have done this without you guys, so I am very, very happy to be a part of this. So go ahead and make sure you support for the Winitachi. What's up everyone, for the Winitachi here, you know what it is, bringing you guys another developer update video uh, live reaction uh, for Fortnite. This is for Save the World and it is developer update 21. It is on in regards to player reporting. Uh, an update on Hero Loadout, and so much more. So without further ado, let's go ahead and check this out. Hey everyone, Billy here with another Save the World dev update. Today we'll be talking about player reporting, Hero Loadout, and a couple other things. Let's get started. Hey everyone, Billy here with another Save the World dev update. Today we'll be talking about player reporting, hero loadout, and a couple other things. Let's get started. My boy wearing his lumberjack tee. Looking like a lumber. I've never played been a Save lot of the questions World now. around player reporting and handling AFK players in general, so we wanted to give a brief update on how that's going. We've been consistently actioning reported players since the new system's inception. And the majority of For those of you that are tuning in, if you want me to play so, uh, Save the World, overall. post down below. However, and if you do play it, let me know how it is. That hasn't always been very clear, and some cases do continue to slip through the cracks. As part of the feedback system, whenever you <clears> successfully <throat> report a player who is subsequently actioned, we send you a notification thanking you for your contribution to keeping the Fortnite community fun for everyone. We discovered a few bugs within the process that were actually preventing those notifications from being sent out to all but the first few reporters against a particular case, meaning a lot of people weren't receiving feedback at all. We've since addressed that issue, and with the help of the community, we're also able to identify a bug that was preventing AFK reports within the Frost Night event from being properly considered. Now, all of that said, we know we still have work to do, and that it's frustrating to actually be in game with somebody who is intentionally going AFK and not contributing. We've recently increased the severity of repeated infractions on some of the reporting categories. This looks like fun, I'm not gonna lie. bolstering our in-game AFK <clears> detection, <throat> so that's not as easily circumvented as it is right now. With some new changes, players who are not contributing in public matches will receive a warning message on their screen before being automatically kicked out of the session if they don't shape up. This should be coming in a future build and will be a work in progress, so we look forward to your feedback. In a previous State of Development blog, we mentioned a new Hero Loadout system coming soon, and we know you're eager for updates. We're still working on it, but it's not quite ready for prime time yet. The basic gist is it will allow you to use your Hero Collection to create custom builds, but we're still iterating on the specifics. Right now, we're focusing on making heroes each have a unique perk you'll be able to combine in fun ways to customize your playstyle. We'll be revisiting most of the heroes that have been released in Season 7 as reskins as part of this change as well. It's almost all fully functional, so we're playtesting it and making it basically it looks like zombies, but and the whole freaking thing, and it's just PvE. We also wanted to give a shout out to all the squads out there that have been taking on the hardest challenges of the Frost Knight event. We love seeing all the creative builds and guides you have all been drafting up and sharing online. We'll be looking for more opportunities to present challenging content in the future as well. One final quick note, on February 7th we'll be re-featuring last year's Lunar New Year Hero and Weapon Llama for Snowflake tickets. If you missed out on the last go round, you'll have another chance soon. From all of us here at Epic, thanks again and stay tuned for more information. Looks epic, I'm not gonna lie, no pun intended. Alright, so I mean, that is it. That is the developer update. Again, I haven't played Save the World yet, and it looks very, very promising. It looks very, very fun. Um, and it definitely looks challenging, uh, to say the least, but for those of you that have played it, please post down below, what is it that you, you do exactly in Save the World? Uh, give me a little bit of an inside scoop, and maybe if you want me to play it, I'll go ahead and check it out. Thank you all very much for tuning in. Peace out.